Good morning. This is Pastor Tom Adams of the Good News Bible Church. For many years, I've heard people say that the doctrine of eternal security is not scriptural, and they say it's the devil's doctrine. Those people not only do not have any knowledge of God's love and grace, they're trying to be saved by their being good. And as it says in 2 Timothy 3, 5, they have a form of godliness, but they deny the power thereof. John 1, 12, it's written, But as many as received him, that's Jesus Christ, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. Those who think salvation can be lost don't understand what it means to believe. To believe in Jesus is to believe that by his death and resurrection he has paid for all sin. Those who oppose eternal security say that Christ only paid for our past sins, and after one feels sorrowful and turns over a new leaf, they are saved up until they sin again, and then they must be resaved by a sorrowful confession. The problem with that is Jesus Christ, by his sacrifice on Calvary, is the only payment for sin. So in order to be resaved, Jesus would have to be re-crucified. To many people, emotions are looked on as being an integral part of salvation. But feeling sorry for sin is not how someone can be saved. And the tragedy of trusting emotions is that they replace faith in Jesus Christ and his work on our behalf. Eternal security is the belief that we are saved by grace through faith, placed into God's family and sealed by the power of the Holy Spirit. Many of those who oppose the security of the believer are constantly looking for some new enlightenment and are not getting the meat from God's word. Those folks need to hear the clear gospel message, and we true believers should present it in love. We should not get entangled in useless arguments, but we should always defend the faith. And although it may seem nice to compromise, it's much better to be approved of by Christ our Savior than to be approved of by self-righteous people. Someone once said that no matter what the believe, what they believe, it shouldn't hinder our fellowship. The problem is if they don't believe that they're saved eternally, we don't really have Christian fellowship. Real Christians believe that God is a loving Father, and a loving Father never abandons his children. Luke 15 tells of a man who had two sons. One asked for his inheritance, and it was given to him. He then took the money and squandered it by righteous living, which means he had done many things that were looked on as being wrong. When he became destitute, he returned to his father, and the father welcomed him back. He had never stopped loving his son, so he was exceedingly happy to have him back home. This is a picture of the believer in Jesus Christ. We may stop going to church or supporting God's work, may live for ourselves, but our Savior will never abandon us. We are his sons and daughters. We are in his family, and we always will be. The other son was troubled because his father had prepared a feast for his brother and gave him the best robe, put rings on his fingers. So he asked the father, Why haven't you ever gave me gifts and made a feast for me? I've always been faithful to you. The father then assured his son that everything he owned would be his. Yes, the father was happy to have the younger son back home, but because of his faithfulness, the older son would inherit all the father had. This parable tells us that God will never cast us out of his family. And it also tells us that if we faithfully serve him by telling and supporting the message of salvation by grace through faith, we will be rewarded. Many people think that the older son was jealous and evil. He reacted just as most everyone would. He needed the reassurance of his father's love. We who have trusted Christ alone for salvation are reassured by the reading of God's word. Those who oppose eternal security say the words eternal security are not found in the Bible. And they're not, but eternal life is, as well as eternal redemption. And they alone speak of eternal security. Remember, folks, if you're not saved forever, you're not saved. This has been Pastor Tom Adams. I'd like to invite you to our services Sunday at 9 a.m., Wednesday at night at 7 p.m. Until next time, may the grace and love of God become more real to you each and every day. Goodbye for now, and thank you for listening.